Let's draw a cute little Jack Russell puppy. We will start with the eyes. So we'll draw one eye, a roundish, more oval shape. And we'll just move over a little bit and draw the other eye. As similar to the first eye as you can get it. It might not be perfect. And then we can put in the highlight and the highlight on the other side too. Make those a little bigger than you think you need because the black line tends to make the white bit in the middle appear a bit smaller. So we can just put in the pupils and color in those black parts. And next we will do the nose. The nose is a rounded triangle so we'll just draw the top part and then we'll draw the bottom part and then we'll just connect them up and there we have our rounded triangle and we can put in a highlight and color in the nose that bit there just confuses a little bit uh, and then we'll do the mouth so we'll do a little line coming down from the nose and a little smile. Keep his mouth fairly small. There we go. And some little eyebrows over the eyes. Now the next part is a bit tricky. It's the top of the head. So we'll go up a complete face in height. And in the middle here we'll just draw a dot so that we know where our arc goes and we draw a little arc over the head and then the next thing we need to do are the ears now the ears of a puppy jack russell are not very long so we will go out from the head a little in again and then turn around start heading back and we'll do the same on this side we'll go out come back in again turn around and start going back and then we can do the rest of the ears from the edge of the top of the head there and because there's a fold here there's a bulge and then we do the rest of the ear sticking out there so we do that bulge and then the rest of the ear sticking out there and then we can just draw in the rest of the face try to keep it the same on both sides and we've got one cute little Jack Russell puppy face. Next, we can put in the collar. And with the collar, we will have a little name tag. Now, the next part are the shoulders. And we will take the shoulders all the way down into the arms and then the feet, which will be all the way down here. So we'll start with the shoulders, go all the way down. We'll stop just short of the feet. And I'll show you why in a second. And we'll do the same on the other side. And we'll make these legs a little bit curving inwards. And then for the feet, we can just draw like a slightly bulged shape. So we can just draw those feet there, cute little paws. And we'll just put in those toes. And if you need to pause the video, because maybe I'm going a little too fast, that's perfectly fine. So now we have got our puppy with its front legs. It needs a belly or a chest. And the next thing we want to do is see a little bit of its back and back leg. So we'll just draw a little shape in here like this. And then we'll draw in the rest of the back leg and the back foot. So we'll draw the foot in first so we don't run out of space. So we'll put in the foot here. Same thing with the front feet, just a bulge and maybe a toe. And then we can put in the rest of the leg there. And for this side, we can draw in this foot underneath and we'll draw in the leg and the rest of the foot there and the leg and once again 
put in some toes. The only thing our puppy needs now is a tail. So we'll just put in a tail coming in from the side there, or coming out from the side. And we have drawn ourselves a cute little Jack Russell puppy. Now we will colour our Jack Russell puppy. Jack Russell puppies have a white middle section to their face. So we'll make sure we keep that white. And we'll do the rest of the face and the ears this nice orangey brown colour. And if you tip your pencil over and use the edge of the lead, then you get a nice smooth colour that you can put down and you can press harder it if you want it darker. We'll do that in a minute. You want it fairly nice, light and even for now. So there we have the face colour. And the same colour of course goes on any parts we see this on its body. So we'll do some on its back and some on its tail. Just fill that in there. Now, any parts of a rounded shape that are curving away from us, we can put in a little darker. So the ear is curving a little further away from us around the sides here. So we'll just press down a little harder and that will appear a little darker. Same around the side of the face here. And on this side, and a bit of shadow under the ear where it's covering up the face. And around here, because it's curving away from us, we'll do it a little bit darker. And we'll have a little bit darker around the bottom of the tail. And there we have the brown. Let's not forget to colour in the eyes, of course. We'll do those a slightly darker brown. I'm colouring in very lightly because I don't want the brown to become too dark. We want to see it. And now we can colour in the collar. Being careful not to press too hard. And again, I'll do a little darker around the edges where the shape curves away from us. Now, the rest of our dog is white, but it still curves away from us. So we'll use some light gray to shade in around those edges. So we'll just go up the side of the front leg here. And a little bit around the bottom of the foot. And the bottom of the back foot. And underneath the body, we can have the rest of its foot and leg in shadow. And the same goes for the belly and chest. The dog tag, name tag, might be casting some shadow. So we'll just put a little more shadow under there as well. And his face, or her face, I don't know if it's a boy dog or a girl dog. We will have that where it curves away from us, just a little bit in shadow. Now you wouldn't do this on the top, because usually light comes from above and in front. So we want, we'll keep that nice and light. We'll put a little bit more shadow on the bottom side of the tail. And a little bit around the bottom side of the back leg here, and the back foot here. And now we just have to do the same thing to this front paw, and the front leg where it curves away from us. We just put a little bit of shading on there, just to give it a slightly rounded form. The next thing we do, just to make this puppy feel like it's standing on the ground, is put a little shadow underneath. 
and then we will be done. So here we have one cute Jack Russell puppy standing on the ground. Isn't it cute?